<laughs> I can already feel the freaking internet shaking over my last post. <laughs> I done, fr I done freaking shook up. I didn't. I didn't win a Muhammad Ali joint with sex. I didn't shook up the world today with this Christmas statement post. But here you go. I'm gonna make some. I'm so fun. I'm gonna look at these, um, these runes I got here. Okay. This is Dreamscape Clairvoyance in the two runes. Okay. As I said, this is symbolism in the minus smallest level. This is the quirk. Okay, it's the smallest, most minute subatomic particle. It's like what we're made of. What's the nuts and bolts of who we are? So as humans, this is what evil spirits can't do. Okay, female intuition. This is something that women, y'all women need to get back to. It's the key to the finest love and sex and, and your choices, your decision makings. Not in trust in us men, but in learning to develop something that goes beyond trust. Female intuition goes down deeper into the place where you can, tr it's beyond trust. It takes you to a place beyond trust that you know that you know what's going on. So you don't even have to trust your intuition, it's that strong. Especially when you blend this with the holy books and with your wisdom and prayer and the worship of the Holy Mother and Christ, the Venerys, this is your key. Dreamscape clairvoyance, okay? Things like, um... The realm of the astral plane for love and sex, okay? Okay? Something, and things like I said, I'm, I'm able basically by the use of this, go back to 60 million BC and I can see who I was in the time before time and what went on, okay? It's very dark glimpses and shadows, but it's deep stuff, clanicalism. But this is what God gives you the ability to do and understand, okay? Once again, what, what dreams may come. I was playing with the word, okay? You know the movie by Robin Williams. So once again, I'm going to go to this room again. But once again, in that discussion about sex, the vaginal secretions, I watch them in. And you see the chauvinism of porn and of men in general. That they act like the woman's vaginal secretions are something nasty that you're trying to avoid. They just let it roll off the tongue. Like there's, it's, It shows that they're sissies, that they're almost not even straight. Like they're, It's all about the show of angelism. You know, like they're more into power and dominance. It's exactly what the feminists discuss. It's a blatant statement. You can see it clear as day when you watch porn. That what the men, what they refuse to do is if it's con it's a competition. Like you have to cram it down my throat. So I act like when a woman is practicing any kind of respect or toleration of my semen, then it's an act of power and dominance. It's not love. So then it's the show of angelism. Show of angelism. Then it's actually they pervert the sex into an act of chauvinism. That just showing my power over boy. She can't make me do that. I, I'm too man to do that. When it's the opposite, it's a lie. And porn becomes a total lie. You're perpetrating a fraud. Dreamscape clairvoyant. See that? Dreamscape clairvoyant. See the rune? See the shape? This is what we're supposed to use the rune for. Not Hitler, war, harming people. This was the runes are built for love, to harmonize, swim your own intuition. Dreamscape clairvoyance. What web dreams may come, okay? So we men, I use this what to get in tune with feminine intuition as best I can. You stay in tune. It's like studying your books, okay? So the women don't be having to bust our balls as much. Let's listen and learn instinctively. And as I said, the female gods like Ishtar, Shagar, Isis, Mary the mother of God, teach us, and then we literally can literally be right there with you women. Empathy, okay? It's the key to good sex. Empathy, the harmony. Clairvoyant streamscape, okay? Upside down. Look at that. Female intuition. What does that say? It says nocturnal emissions. Okay. Nocturnal emissions. I'm not talking about something coming out your car, okay? Nocturnal emissions. Female intuition. Okay. And even here, look at this. What does it say? It says E R O S. Okay. I get I did a lot with this one. But yeah, real straight up sex, sex, C U N. Virginal oh, Wallace. What that Palpatine Emperor, okay? Female intuition. Trying to get myself in tune. Nocturnal omissions, okay? Yeah, in terms of things you leave out, what you wouldn't leave out. Female intuition. Clairvoyance dreamscape, okay? You see this, this is a glorious Valentine's Day. Look at the hearts. Romance, romance, romance. This is what runes are built for. Okay, and once again, this is an angelic one. One, two, three arms indicates celestial. It's like you're talking not just natural. Natural is the two arms. The fourth one that I use, the God rune, is four. That means control over all the consoles and celestial. Okay, let me flip this over. I wrote Palpatine Emperor once again. See that what? Hug. Okay. What does it say? What dreams may come. Okay. Female intuition. Dreamscape clairvoyance. Look at the hearts. What does that say there? Hug. This is what we're talking about. Okay. Clairvoyance dreamscape. Okay. Um, L-O-V-E. See? 
female intuition. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we need to be pursuing. This is what's real. Female intuition. <clears throat> what dreams may come? I will come if I'm going to seek. Like, maybe that wasn't. Whatever. It works. Okay. Then once again, what's this here? What dreams may come? Female intuition. See, these, and look at the gloriousness of that. Look at that. I did it with glitter. Glamour. It's got gold chains on it. All the glory, the glitter, the hearts. This is the kind of stuff that we talk about that you want to really do something positive with. Even over here, you see, I even put the lights on it. The lights aren't working right now. You need batteries. But this is what it's about. See, so, like I said, the vaginal juices and the secretion, you see there's a, 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 the male, and I see, is this form of non-sexual, unerotic hypocrisy where they want to run these games and we want to be a part of the sexual nature. We, they want to dominate. Everything's about dominating the sex game. I want to run the show. I want to, we want to rule the PSSY. So they want to follow the angels of evil. They got to have all charge. But then when it comes down to be sexual, they're on. Then sex all of a sudden is a power play. I'm going to make you do it, but I'm not going to do it for you. Okay? So you got to deal with me, but I'm not going to accept what you have to offer when it's time. So it's in the end, you women are getting disappointed because it's as if the man is coming to you like he's a cloud of God, and then it's you're embracing the woman. Good, good evening, happy Merry Christmas. Hey. How you doing? Yes, yes. But then he's embracing, you're embracing the gloom under the guise of being put on cloud nine, the cloud of God, okay? Super serious, and then you find out you're sludging and river sticks after, you know, the so-called pinnacle experience. It's just a disappointment, okay? So it's something that y'all need to be aware of, like I see it. Like I said, almost as if you want to play like this or uh, like a Ouija board or something, you know, you spin it around. But think about it, okay? That's what makes the world go around. Like I said, think about it. We'll flip this over again. What dreams may come, okay? Female intuition, don't forget. The things are getting hard anyway. Dreams get clairvoyance, okay? That's the real, okay? That's the real, okay? What may dream, what dream, what dream? Dreams get clairvoyance, okay? Get back into this. This is where we, this is where we went wrong. As a human race, you'll find it with your lost. When you you'll find it where you lost it with sex, clairvoyance, dreamscape. You'll find it where you lost it. Out of touch with women, learn to get in touch with the female intuition. But as a man, you don't let go of your masculinity. You need to be man enough to let her be woman enough so that you can be manly and masculine and not feel like you're being emasculated, letting her be a woman. Well, basically, you're just not quite getting where you gotta go. You got to learn to be stable tolerating at least the stable state of both sexes and we need to do like the French say vive la difference okay vive la difference celebrate the differences we're supposed to celebrate the differences in the sexes not trying to rival and compete with each other what did I discuss before with the gods that we should do we compete with each other to out please each other out love each other not contrast and variance and hostility okay it has no place in the in the dominion and the celestial and earthly of sex has no place there, okay? Don't bring that stuff in. That's got to go. That's to be cast out. That's the abominable filth that pollutes and ruins eroticism and sexuality. Eros, not rot. Erotica, not rot, okay? So I'm being very clear, and I'll say one more time. When it comes to things like male and female ejaculations, it's a straight, clear, difference with males and females that males refuse to but then some women do because they're more erotic okay and sexual uh, but men tend to not why because they're into the show of angelism and, and orgasmic secretions with men and women men seem to take it as an act of subordinate dominance like they're, it's like they're flexing up they think they're flexing their muscle and it shows that they're not sexual call them on that they're not being erotic it's more like they're they're just into the show of angelism it's a power play in the sex act, okay? So when you're most vulnerable at the orgasm and they want to flex power, I'm not doing that, but then you're supposed to do it as a woman. Once again, it shows that competition, what? It demands not sexual, walk away. You should not have to go back and forth with someone who's just not, because he's too busy doing it, trying to press this crowd to be with his, the boys, okay? To show he's with this crowd, you know, we want to perform, the, show of, the chauvinist. You know, it's about being with my boys. It's not about me and you, okay? He's not a ladies man. He's just, you know, you're just an extension of his ego. So beware of that.